from all around the world. Your kind and encouraging words strengthens and inspires me. This award is not just for me. It is for those forgotten children who want education. It is for those frightened children who want peace. It is for those voiceless children who want change. I'm here to stand up for their rights, to raise their voice. It is not time to pity them. It is not time to pity them. It is time to take action. So it becomes the last time. The last time. So it becomes the last time that we see a child deprived of education. Education is one of the blessings of life and one of its necessities. I am not a lone voice. I am not a lone voice. I am many. I am Malala. But I am also Shazia. I am Kainat. I am Kainat Somro. I am Mozoon. I am Amina. I am those 66 million girls who are deprived of education. And today, I am not raising my voice. It is the voice of those 66 million girls. Sometimes people like to ask me, why should girls go to school? Why is it important for them? But I think the more important question is, why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't they have this right to go to school? This is where I will begin. But it is not where I will stop. I will continue this fight until I see every child, every child in school. My great hope is that this will be the last time. This will be the last time we must fight for education. Let's solve this once and for all. We have already taken many steps. Now it is time to take a leap. It is not time to tell the world leaders to realize how important education is. They already know it. Their own children are in good schools. Now it is time to call them to take action for the rest of the world's children. We ask the world leaders to unite and make education their top priority. Fifteen years ago, the world leaders decided on a set of global goals, the Millennium Development Goals. In the years that have followed, we have seen some progress. The number of children out of school has been halved, as Kailash Satyarthi said. However, the world focused only on primary education and progress did not reach everyone. In year 2015, representatives from all around the world will meet in the United Nations to set the next set of goals, Sustainable Development Goals. This will set the world's ambition for the next generations. The world can no longer accept that basic education is enough. Why do leaders accept that for children in developing countries, only basic literacy is sufficient when their own children do homework in algebra, mathematics, science and physics. Leaders must seize this opportunity to guarantee a free, quality, primary and secondary education for every child. 
Some will say this is impractical or too expensive or too hard or maybe even impossible. But it is time the world thinks bigger. Why is it that countries which we call strong are so powerful in creating wars but are so weak in bringing peace? Why is it? Why is it that giving guns is so easy but giving books is so hard. Why is it? Why is it that making tanks is so easy but building schools is so hard? We are living in the modern age and we believe that nothing is impossible. In this 21st century we must be able to give every child quality education. Me, you, we, it is our duty. Let us become the first generation to decide to be the last. Let us become the first generation that decides to be the last that sees empty classrooms lost childhoods and wasted potentials. Let this be the last time that a girl or a boy spends their childhood in a factory. Let this be the last time that a girl is forced into early child marriage. Let this be the last time that a child loses life in war. Let this be the last time that we see a child out of school. Let this end with us. Let's begin this ending together, today, right here, right now. Let's begin this ending now.